I will be talking about the book One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. This book is about four high school students who become murder suspects when one of their classmates dies while they're all in detention together. The victim, Simon, had a very popular blog called About That, which revealed secrets about the students of Bayview High. And Nate, Bronwyn, Cooper, and Addie just so happened to be the recipients of the next round of secrets that Simon was going to post the next day. Nate is an easy suspect. He's already been busted for dealing drugs once and is currently on probation. His secret? He's still dealing the drugs. Who would put it past a known criminal to take out Simon before his blog post got him into even more trouble? Bronwyn's secret is that she cheated on her chemistry test to get a good grade so that she could go to Yale. Even though she's quite the rule follower, could this goody-goody have decided to take him out in order to pave her way to one of the top colleges? Cooper, a star baseball player with an amazing arm, has his own secrets. Simon's blog accounts for Cooper's recent pitching speeds to steroids, but Cooper's real secret was edited out of the original blog post. Only Cooper would have done this to keep his real secret safe, right? And lastly, Addie, always at her boyfriend Jake's side. Or maybe not, because Simon was about to reveal that Addie once got drunk and cheated on her boyfriend. Would Addie keep Simon quiet in order to keep her relationship with Jake? Could it have been all four of them working together, as the police seem to think? Or could it have been someone else who framed these four teens in order to carry out their own vengeance against Simon? He did have a lot of enemies. Read this book and find out who is telling the truth and who is lying.